Okay guys, so phase one is uh, complete. I've actually got a couple of the lights up there that I stuck up yesterday, but this is every cut piece for the rest of the clouds. Every length has its own cut. Um, we have little, uh, little um, adapters that go around the corners that snap on and everything. So if you, if you notice like some of these right here, we've got uh, the last six inches or so is not stuck down so I can peel it up, maybe trim it off a couple inches if need be and snap the, uh, snap the connectors on. But they're ready, I'm ready to get up on the scaffolding. So uh, just gonna get up here close and kind of show you the different parts and what you can do. This is the heat sink, it's just an aluminum bar. Um, and like I said, you don't need these with most of the 12 volt stuff you'd buy on Amazon. But like I said, this stuff's very high output. You can see how close the diodes are to one another. I think there's uh, you know, four or five diodes per inch. It's, it's, uh, it's extensive, it's, it's a lot more. Most of them only have like one and a half. Um, you kind of see, I'll, I'll make it clear like that. So you see how many diodes there are. Now, um, if you've never done any LED tape, you see the, let me see if I can get that at the right angle there. That copper right there, you can cut right on that. That's, you can cut that, that's every, on this stuff it's every two and a half inches. Most LED tape, it's about every two inches. Um, RGB, it's like a little bit more. I couldn't tell you the exact dimensions, but the RGBs are the ones with the uh, four color, uh, red, green, blue, and white usually. Um, so the RGBs are different. I, like I said, I'll try to show you guys that in another video, the waterproof LEDs, all that. But these are just super cool because they're bright enough to actually provide the light for the room. Most strip lighting is accent lighting, but we've got all these strips made, ready to hop up on the scaffold and start moving around. And that scaffold's like 20 feet tall, so it's a little sketchy up there. Um, today's the 3rd of July, it's Saturday, and uh, I'm actually getting ready to go uh, meet some buddies at a uh, Mexican restaurant for a late lunch, and then I'm gonna come back over here and. Uh, see what we can do. So don't want to uh, don't want to work too hard on the weekends, but I do want to bring this video to you. So stay tuned and we'll get going on that. That aren't in the bathrooms because those drivers just sit in the cabinets of uh, the vanities. But for temporary sake right now for that ceiling, as I wired, I want to know that the lights are working, that when I get those little corners clips on, they, they, they make connections. So I've got seven wires here, two go to the perimeter, opposite corners so I can keep my run links under 20 feet. And then five of these wires go to the clouds, eat one, one to each cloud and I'll run opposite uh, link runs away from that parallel. So we keep our run links under 20 feet. Um, so I've got seven of them. I'm just gonna, this is all temporary. because like I said, it's going across the crawl here. I'm just gonna hot wire it for now so I can test the lights as I go. Just kind of wanted to show you what that looks like. Eventually, like I said, I'll tr uh, we'll put a junction box on that and trunk it over to the wall with all the other LEDs that are coming out from under the stairs. And uh, you guys can see that. I'm gonna hook this up real quick, and then I'm gonna take you back upstairs, get up on the scaffold, and uh, start putting in all these LEDs. Not a lot of fun, but it's gonna be super cool. guys it's 8 30 on a saturday night july 3rd i think i'm gonna go have a little fun i'm not gonna finish this tonight i love launching my videos on sunday it's probably gonna be monday because i'll come over here in the morning i've got about 22 of the links lit up uh, no that's not right i've got about 15 of them lit up there's 22 of them up there and i got 32 total links so i've got a couple hours at least 
tomorrow to get it all fired up. I'll come back over here tomorrow night uh, between fireworks and stuff and uh, try to get it at night. Cause I was actually worried it wasn't gonna provide enough light, but now that it's getting dark, I think it's gonna be awesome. So I'll also show you a couple other things we're working on tomorrow, just for fun. And uh, I'll, I'm gonna start working on my light deck tomorrow at my house. So a lot of cool content coming, but this is gonna be super cool. I'm, I'm really excited to show you the finished product tomorrow. Okay guys, uh, before I leave the big house uh, and, and wrap up the LED video, I wanna show you kind of uh, the whole design aspect from the entry through the, through the main section of the house. So we have this 40 foot wide waterfall or uh, water feature with a little waterfall over here. There's gonna be a statue and there's a 27K uh, micro bright shining up. That's, that you're gonna get a real shimmer on the whole front of the house. And then we have this bridge that when sealed is gonna be jet black. And uh, it's got two in situ LED strips that we cast in place so they're flush. The, the lenses are off right now because we still have to seal it. But they come right through here. It's kind of marking the edges so people don't you know, fall off. I don't really think it's five feet wide. I don't really feel like that's an issue, but super cool looking. Um, so come on in here and I'll show you real quick just sort of the, uh, the, the main idea of the design. So the designer came up with inlaying a black runway through the main white field tile that comes straight through the entry, right through the pool deck tile, and into the black pool. So you'll have this black line leading you to the black pool. There's actually gonna be a statue on a pillar just beyond the pool, which you'll be able to see right from the front door, which just kind of ties the whole thing together. As you walk in, you round the corner and you'll see the super cool dining room table that's in process that's gonna sit on this black inlay here this inlay runs up the wall behind a glass front cabinet that's uh, coming from Italy. It goes up the wall, it's got three floating walnut shelves, and, uh, and then it mirrors up on the ceiling all the way across. And I'm gonna do a whole video on this large format tile and how to lay it, and these are 85 pounds a piece and they're sticking on the ceiling. We, we kinda go through a lot of uh, painstaking stuff to make sure they don't come down, and I'll, I'll get into all of that. Um, and then as you round the corner here, the island, it's got a big like 11 or 12 foot wide island and all glass front Scavellini cabinets from Italy. I think they're actually in a container in Vegas on their way here. They're going to be here in a couple weeks and this whole area is going to really come together. It's just ultra modern has got to Missouri. Uh, you know, it was kind of a coastal thing, but uh, we're really, uh, we're really kind of innovating and uh, bringing as much of this design to, uh, to the Midwest. These large format tiles are kind of here. They're now used to, they were always made in Italy and, uh, and China. And now they're starting to make some of them in the US. These are from Italy, but you can buy, you know, US made, which makes them a little easier to get. And uh, pretty much every tile store in Springfield's at least got displays for them. So the large format is coming and uh, it takes a little more effort to lay it proper. Uh, these only have 1 16th grout lines. There's not a lot of room for error, but they are flat as a pancake. There's not one bit of lippage on this floor so far and it just looks killer. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be bringing you a lot more from this project as we, uh, as we start to wrap it up. Alright guys, came back over here this morning, finished up about an hour, um, finished product. I got a little bit of wire management, maybe adjust the lights a little bit uh, as they're, those heat sinks kind of let them slide around and uh, the, the double stick tape I've got isn't holding them very good. So a little bit of tweaking, but this is basically it. I'm going to come back over here tonight and shoot it in the dark so you guys can get the full effect of that light. Also show you kind of a, an entry uh, bridge that we've got LED lights on too and just really show you some of the ongoing stuff that's in here that's kind of coming together. Otherwise, uh, I'll be back next week with a couple ICF videos, so uh, stay tuned.